Could a couple black and white drawings from Honda be the S2000 successor? Maybe. The full reveal of the new BMW 7 Series and a new BMW i8, not with an M badge, but with another letter, Max. Oh, that's real nice. Yeah. Plus, Fiat is like, happy birthday, America. Here's a slightly new Fiat 500 for you. And it's Friday, people. <coughs> people. <laughs> so you know what we're getting into. I'm just so excited. Oh, yeah. For rapid fire news. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Are you blowing one of those things at like the World Cup? Did they have like the Googlers or whatever? Yeah. Is that what that? Can we hear that one more time? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, you weren't. It was something else. Yeah. It was definitely something else then. Hi, Derek D. That's me. Fast Lane Daily. Well, that's this. Now, thank you for being here. It's Friday. <laughs> Fiat will reveal an updated version of its 500 subcompact to the world next month, specifically on our nation's birthday, the 4th of July, Independence Day. Oh yeah. No, not the movie, the actual day. Yeah. Now, don't expect any crazy changes, probably just the bumpers and headlights will get some tweaks, and the infotainment system will be updated. Uh, there will also be some new interior trim options. July 4th in Fiat's world means the 58th anniversary of the first 500 going on sale in Italy. But we'll pretend they just love America. Yeah. Which they do, come on. It's America. And in honor of America and Fiat, let's watch uh, Fiat model Megan and myself do our signature handshake. Max. Oh, that's real nice. Oh yeah. There you go. You kidding me? You kidding me? BMW America, right? America. There she is. BMW crushed some people's dreams when they said there wouldn't be an i8M car on its way. But now UK media is reporting that a more powerful i8 is in fact on the way, even if it won't go by the M name. Weight is expected to remain around the 3,200 pound mark, but a more powerful two liter four cylinder engine is expected to replace the 1.5 liter three cylinder in the normal i8. And of course, it will pair up with the electric powertrain to make about 450 horsepower. Yeah, that's almost 100 horses more than a standard I-8. While the bigger engine will add weight, BMW will cut weight with unpainted carbon fiber body panels and a stripped down interior. The new version will probably be called the I-8S. That's funny because uh, I ate S last night. What? I ate steak. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, it was delicious. Yeah. I ate steak. S How do you like it? Steak. I like it, you know, medium rare to medium. Yeah. Hey, speaking of the Bavarian Motor Works, Max. Okay. We talked about it earlier in the week, but BMW has officially revealed the 2016 7 Series in pictures and specs, and it looks good. I mean, we've already seen a bunch of pictures pretty much anyway, but uh, thanks to a new carbon core, the redesigned 7 Series is almost 200 pounds lighter than the current model. It uh, has a display key. Essentially, the key is hardly a key anymore and more like a touchpad to control your car. Uh, it's the future, folks, you know. What can I say? You have wireless charging in there, and the seats in the back of the car are considered the executive lounge. There's also a touch command tablet in the back to control, well, everything. You know, the, the, the speaker volume, the temperature, everything. And you also have, option. this is an option, ambient air package with eight different fragrances to pick from. Oh, <laughs> well, Mr. Executive, look at you. Smelling good. Yeah. We covered the engines on Wednesday's episode, but there is also a new plug-in hybrid called the 740E that pairs a two-liter four-cylinder with electric motors for a range of 23 miles on EV power alone. A new self-leveling air suspension is standard and now all-wheel drive models have rear wheel steering as well. BMW's parking assist self parks in both parallel and perpendicular spaces. Uh, and there's new gesture controls. Allows for infotainment functions with your hands. I mean, check out this guy. He's like twirling his hand around, throwing the deuces at the infotainment system. <laughs> So have you all up in your car looking like a straight-up ninja while you drive. You're like, 
The people would be like, what? remember back in the day, people would be like, oh, that person's talking to themselves. Yeah. Now it's like, oh, that person's on the phone. Right. So now you'd be like, oh, that person's crazy. Yeah. But then it's like, gonna be like, no, now he's doing the hand gestures yeah. to make his car. Like this puts the volume up. This puts the volume down. You guys should go watch that whole video. Link is in the uh, description. Uh, the guy's very informative. Mm. Yeah. Honda stopped production of their S2000 Roadster in 2009. And honestly, they haven't made anything that exciting for us since. And by us, yes, I mean US. You get that? Yeah, the Civic, well, the Civic concept is very promising, but what about classic performance cars? Well, if these leaked patent drawings suggest anything, it's that we might all have something to look forward to from Honda very soon. It appears to be a mixture of the new Acura NSX and the Japanese only S660 Roadster, which in turn might just be the successor to the S2000 perhaps with a borrowed and slightly detuned hybrid powertrain from the NSX? I don't know, I'm just saying. I'm sure we'll see this thing at an auto show very soon. And we're looking forward to it. In related news, um, well this just in, uh, multiple, multiple reports of fanboys' heads exploding due to the possibility of an affordable yet supercar looking sports car. Now I assume affordable because the S2000 was affordable, but this could also be at the next NSX in some way, so who knows really. Yeah. But cool to see that something that looks like that is on its way from Honda. Okay. As Wax says in, the, in his FLD song, yeah. let's merge to the left and pass all the slow pokes nice. for some rapid fire news. <laughs> Bang. Is that a burp? Excuse you. Oh, you're laughing in, a, in an evil manner. The <laughs> I get it. That's weird. That's, that guy's here on every Friday. Yep. Very strange. Okay, here we go, Erica. You ready? Let's roll it. All right. New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. has a real bright future sitting on his Rolls Royce, on his new Rolls Royce. I got no problem with that choice. Just keep making catches like these, and you can buy any car you please. One shark dead in a highway crash in Florida. Did he say shark? Yes, I did, bruh. It was on its way to Coney Island Aquarium. Now we're left in a memoriam. That shark is in the dark. Hey. You need, to help, you need help to parallel park? Fiat made a digital billboard. Doesn't matter if you're driving a Cord or Ford or Nissan Central like Erica Lord. Holla. They'll help you park the car by Harvard Yard. You get the idea. Autonomous car safety is a big issue with the ladies. Study shows 55% of chicks don't want to deal with no one driving behind the wheel. That new Batmobile, though, officially revealed, bro, got me like, whoa. Here's the outside, then the inside. I got to say, it's one hell of a hero's ride. Black on black on black on black. Right, Ben Affleck? It's Friday, it's Friday, go get yourself a couple of brews. But now before I say that'll do it for this edition of Rapid Fire News. <laughs> Bang! Oh, nice, man. amazing. Well, there was a lot of flub ups in that one. But there was <clears> a lot of info. A lot of info. A lot of, yeah. a lot of info. New Batmobile looks really cool. Oh yeah. I, I mean we've seen it before, but that was like the official unveiling of it. And there's a ton of pictures now. Um, yeah, and a shark. Yeah. Really shark. tragic. The truck carrying like four, four sharks to an aquarium in Coney Island crashed and one of the sharks died, unfortunately. So rest in peace to that shark and the thresher shark that washed up in Belmar on 8th Avenue on Wednesday. They found a light on 8th Avenue? Found what? They found it on 8th Avenue? Well, on the 8th Avenue Beach. Yeah. yeah. We, as we go by avenues. So there is a lot of luxury options in that new BMW 7 Series. So our FLD question of the day is, is there a point where a car can have too many options? I mean, think about it. Do you really need eight different fragrance options in your car? Hit a button, you're like, oh, that's vanilla. That's vanilla. <laughs> hit another button. Is that lilac? Like, no. Hit another one. Yeah, is that uh, fresh lavender? Yeah. Lavender, Sorry, linen, fresh yeah, cotton. Yeah, like fresh sheets. Yeah. I mean, come on. You gotta refill those. You gotta buy the... Yeah, uh, I feel like it's like you're driving your car and the little thing like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Out. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I'd even like that. Uh, well, let us know what you guys think. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D, and you can send your own into tips at fastlanedaily.com. Thanks, AK. Appreciate it. And uh, that's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today and this week, everybody. I'm Derek D. Thank you for watching, and uh, you know, have a great and safe weekend. Enjoy the summer. All right, so let's do oh take, take two. Still rolling. Still rolling. There we go. Use that energy. Oh my god. Get a couple of black in my drawers behind me. Be that down the Aren't you gonna ask me uh, something, Max? Yeah. Um, ask it. What? <laughs> oh yeah. Are you wearing an undershirt?
Oh, that's real nice. <laughs>